Ah, oh, dang, you covered up. <laughs> I've been out the last like two hours. Your six pack and <laughs> your girls. <laughs> That's funny. Anyway, you're taking care of some thank you cards, right? Yeah. Dang, those are nice. They're really nice. All these envelopes, too. Like, these are nice cards. Target, doing it again. Yeah. Big things popping. Um, it may look like I showered and did my hair, but I was literally just in my jams, like, three, four minutes ago. But when I get home from basketball and before I go to bed, I always do my hair. It's true, he does. So in the morning, I just whoosh, brush your comb through it and bada bing bada boom, put on some uh, clean clothes and the same jeans I've been wearing since like 2014. Don't judge me, but once you find a good pair of jeans, you don't really care about anything else. There's a grandma at the pool. She's doing little exercises. Our community is packed full of all demographics. Uh, everything, like every age group, we've got them in abundance. Check her out. He's eating a salad on his own accord. I didn't even ask him to, I didn't make it. He got the stuff out of the fridge, he put it together, he started eating it. <laughs> well, I felt guilty the other night. You made sloppy joes, and I didn't put a, I didn't pair a salad with it. So I ate one yesterday, but when I opened the fridge, I was like, "Oh, I can grab a fresca." Oh, uh, wait, those strawberries and salad actually looks pretty good. Yeah, you won't regret it. That's the thing. You never regret a salad. Ah, it's so true. I need to eat more. Unless you get a bad salad and you have diarrhea, but. Other than that. <laughs> Which totally ruins you for like a year. <laughs> Other than that, you never regret a salad. Maybe and even then you don't regret it because you, you know, lose that water weight. So at least for a day, you're at least a pound underweight. Maybe that's why we have like <laughs> a lot of obese people in this country. Yeah. Because what if they got like a bad Mickey D's salad, you know? But they never get a bad double cheese. Mm-hmm. They're like, last time I had a salad, I puked my guts out. <laughs> We're recording. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my friend has a watch business, Schmoots Watches, and about a month ago he like asked a couple of us to like see if we can put some music to his thing. Um, this is what his original piece was. I'm not making like any beef about it because it took him probably a while to take all those pictures. But let's see, check this out. No sound. This is exactly what it was. I don't know how many photos he took, but it probably took him a long time. Anyway, so I'm just working on a little piece for him. I mean, I'm on Final Cut every day anyway, might as well make something. So this is what I've got so far. I'll show you the final piece when I'm done. <laughs> Sweet, huh? <laughs> okay, here's the finished product. <laughs> right? Yeah. Oh, dang. I guess Lee, you owe me. That's what she said. <laughs> no, I probably still owe you one from something. <laughs> this is actually the first time I've ever been in the back of the car with her. I'm usually driving. Maybe a Tiffle drive now. It's crazy how she could be upset so much and then like a simple three or four minute car drive, she's totally calm. She's been chewing this crazy crunch book. So every time she like smacks her lip, I like press on this page. So she feels like she's crunching it. 
She's been doing this for like a hard, a hard maybe 12 minutes. <laughs> you get it, you little zipper. Let me know if this like propels you up. Oh my gosh, it's working. <laughs> How much sugar is in there? Whoa. Whoa. Your job is the easiest job I've ever heard of. Provide for this family? Oh, yeah, breast <laughs> milk. It comes naturally. <laughs> yeah, but at a cost. <laughs> at a cost. <laughs> Not anymore, remember? It I've got to be close to a baby or a pump <laughs> at all times. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta be in charge of the wallet, the stroller, where the groceries are going, the cart, if the car is locked, parking. You sit back seat, like literally, you're taking the back seat to this parenting. To all the dads out there, you're amazing. To all the moms out there, you're amazing. Don't let your man tell you otherwise. I'm not gonna knock you a shoe. Even a baby knows what's up. <laughs> There was an Audi R8 over here, and I was like, should we park next to him? Tiff was like, yeah, let's do it. And no, actually, she said no, huh? Yeah, you said yeah, no. Yeah, I said no, and then I was like, saying that if we did, we'd have to park really close. Like, really close, like we'd have to go over the groceries, the baby seat, everything. <laughs> anyway, so my friend Tom Clark and his wife are having a baby. That's exciting. And I'm really happy for him. So they have this Facebook Live thing now, right? And he take well, he goes on there. He's like the first friend I've known that's actually done it. And it's actually refreshing, because everyone's so like, I don't know, fake, I guess on social media, they're afraid of being raw. And he's not. Anyway, so <laughs> he posted a pic of Sarah like in the labor delivery room and I just commented, no Facebook Live. Not but five minutes later, he like jumps on <laughs> Facebook Live and- He's probably like, see Sarah, give the people what they want. <laughs> <laughs> and Sarah, you could see in her eyes, she was not loving it. <laughs> she had a contraction too, so she like doubled over. And <laughs> I was watching, I was loving it. But Tom was like, uh, I think this will be it. I'll show you a video later, guys. <laughs> yes. I'm so glad I caught that. Oh, dang. 